From I'm gonna let you finish to Trump to running for president, Kanye West is one of the most misunderstood artists of our generation. To some, he may come off as crazy, and to others, he's a creative genius. And they're both right. You need to be a little crazy to be considered a genius, to bring your ideas to life. An airplane, a smartphone, didn't make sense until it was created. Now it's a normal thing. So in this video, I'm gonna break down Kanye's crazy creative process, and hopefully you can gain some knowledge from a living genius and incorporate it into your own creative process. Name one genius that ain't crazy. During my research, I compiled many valuable quotes from Kanye West that I believe can help you as an artist. But there are two things we need to talk about before we get into his creative process. And we're gonna start with the one thing that many people lack, and if Kanye didn't have it, he wouldn't be Kanye. Confidence. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. People are gonna discourage you. They're gonna tell you what you truly want to do is unrealistic, that you're crazy for even thinking about it. Kanye's confidence helped him ignore these people by having faith in himself. He understands who he is so that others' perceptions of him can't break his truth. No matter how many people tell me, stop believing in yourself. Stop saying what you can do. Stop affirming what you're gonna do and then, and then completing that in real life. That's the improper way to do it. I refuse to follow those rules that society has set up in the way that they control people with low self-esteem. Many people will view these clips of Kanye speaking highly of himself and consider him arrogant or crazy. But in my opinion, these are the people who need to listen to Kanye because they themselves lack confidence. They can't see their own value, so they hate on people like Kanye. So they'll try to discourage you and project their own fears on you. Which leads us to the next thing we need to talk about. Love over fear. Stop strategizing so much. Stop setting so many plays. Stop doing things only based in fear. Like the universe will assist you when you are acting in love. The only thing you can control is your intentions. So choose love, then let go. Surrender yourself to the process. Just like in religion, people choose to surrender themselves to their God. However, today, many people aren't choosing love. They're choosing their path out of fear. They let fear control them, leading them to make bad decisions for their lives, which result in regret, mental health problems, and even physical problems. Fear comes in many forms, from letting your parents down, to not making enough money, to falling behind your friends. Fear makes us feel like we're constantly competing with each other. I don't believe in the concept of an enemy. We have been conditioned to always be in competition. Stop looking for something to beat and just be. You don't have to do all the work. Once you start moving in love, the universe will assist you. And that's the truth. When you move in love, people will present themselves to help you because they see your passion and they see your intentions are pure. When you move in love, you're actually choosing faith. Faith in yourself, faith in the people that will help you, and faith in your process. Which leads us to what you've been waiting for. Kanye's creative process. Distraction is the enemy of vision. Today, we are facing more distractions than ever before. And one of the main culprits is what you're using to watch this video right now, the internet. It's taken our most valuable asset, our time and focus, valuable time that we can use to think and create. However, the internet isn't all bad. It's how you use it. It's either a distraction or a tool. That's why Kanye recommends when you first wake up, don't hop right on your phone or the internet or even speak to anyone for up to an hour if possible. Just be still and enjoy your own imagination. It's better than any movie. But that's somewhat of a new distraction we're facing. One of the oldest distractions that we still face today is impressing others, especially the opposite sex. In the book, God and Monster, Kanye talks about this exact thing. People ask me a lot about my drive. I think it comes from like having a sexual addiction at a really young age. Look at the drive that people have to get sex, to dress like this and get a haircut, and to be in the club in the freezing cold at 3 a.m the places they go to pick up a girl. If you can focus that energy into something valuable, put that into work ethic. This concept is also talked about in the book, Think and Grow Rich. It's called sexual transmutation, where we put our energy from our sexual desires into something more valuable, like work ethic. Because many of us weren't born with some amazing talent, we need to rely on our work ethic. Even Kanye himself has said it. I'm not really specifically talented at anything, except for my ability to learn. That's what I do. The ability to learn is a skill that you possess and can improve. As a creative, your ideas are your strongest form of currency. Kanye understands the importance of our ideas. You have the power to create beautiful art that can affect culture and even the world. 
That's why you have to protect your ability to create at all costs. Your ability to create is more valuable than money and fame because creating is what keeps you alive spiritually. It's why you're excited to wake up every day. It gives your life meaning. That's why you need to protect it. Try to avoid any contractual situation where you are held back from your ideals. I know it's not easy to say no to a large sum of money, but it's in your best interest to maintain your creative freedom. Kanye had to learn this the hard way with record labels and even Nike. Because when you're held back from your ideas and being the real you, you will never reach your full potential. You'll lose focus and start creating something that sounds manufactured and fake. And fans aren't dumb. They can easily spot who's being real and who's being fake. I'm giving all that I have in this life. I'm opening up my notebook and saying everything in there out loud. Authenticity is an integral part of Kanye West's creative process. I mean, would you still like Kanye if he didn't speak his mind? Don't trade your authenticity for approval. And in my opinion, that's what's lacking in today's music. A lot of artists are just jumping on trends and they aren't saying how they feel anymore. They're not expressing themselves. They're just chasing trends for approval. But as Kanye says, trend is always late. Kanye hardly ever chased trends. He stood true to himself and created what he loved and felt. A true artist doesn't follow trends, they create them. Don't follow the crowds, follow the innate feelings inside of you. Do what you feel, not what you think. Thoughts have been placed in our heads to make everyone assimilate. Follow what you feel. You have to create your own path. And some people are gonna think you're crazy for doing so. They don't want you to step out of line. They want you to stay right there and follow the rules and be miserable like everybody else. But Kanye had the courage to step out of that line. And by doing so, he has inspired and encouraged many people to follow their own path. Criticism can bother you, but you should be more bothered if there's no criticism. That means you're too safe. Kanye is constantly criticized for what he believes and what he says. And I must admit, some things he says are kind of outrageous. But it does take a lot of courage to stay true to yourself when society is trying to pressure you into becoming someone else. People say, why do you want to destroy your name? But I don't care about my name as much as I care about my ideas. I could do something completely wrong and people could hate it, but then someone else can see it and do it completely right. And it's a push forward for civilization. Kanye is a true definition of an artist. He's courageous, willing to fail in front of everyone as long as his ideas help the next person. Let's be less concerned with ownership ideas. It is important that our ideas see the light of day, even if you don't get the credit for them. Let's be less concerned with credit awards and external validation. Your ideas are a gift to the world. Once they see the light of day, they're no longer yours. They're the world's. There's ideas floating all around and you can take what you want and create something new. Too much emphasis is put on originality. Feel free to take ideas and update them at your will. All great artists take and update. This is one of the most important concepts of his creative process. While most artists are too concerned with being original, Kanye doesn't care. Kanye will take ideas from others and create something new and different. Pablo Picasso said it best, Good artists copy, great artists steal. As an artist, it's not about you, it's about your ideas. It shouldn't really matter where you get them from, as long as you can develop them into something new, different, and your own. Even if you have to work with others. The most genius thing about the way I create is to create with other geniuses. And that's why Kanye is a creative genius. That's why we're all creative geniuses. The goal of this video was to break down Kanye's creative process to show you that there's nothing magical about it. It's about confidence, love, authenticity, discipline, and courage. Kanye is no different than any of us. He just listens to his gut and goes for it. I hope this video inspires you to pursue what you love. Thank you for watching.